We now head over to Hamilton County Common Police Court in Cincinnati, Ohio, for the controversial sentencing hearing of Tracy Hunter. And she has continued to serve the community through her past. Hunter, a former judge in the Hamilton County Juvenile Court System, was convicted of unlawful interest in a public contract for helping her brother keep his job as a juvenile corrections officer. It's a fourth degree felony. She lost her job and her law license and was sentenced to six months in jail. Her supporters felt the punishment was too extreme, in particular for someone who'd never been in trouble before and who still had a positive impact in the community. Some also claimed the conviction was politically motivated. Through various appeals, Hunter was able to delay her sentencing for over six years. Today, her attorney, David Singleton, is asking the judge to delay sentencing yet again. She's lost peace of mind, not knowing when that day was going to come that she'd have to go to jail. That's a lot for one person to have on her shoulders. Judge Patrick Dinkelacker has heard the request and is ready to announce Hunter's sentence. But first, he has a message for those self-described registered voters who sent dozens of postcards to his home, asking him not to send Hunter to jail. The attempt was to intimidate me in any way that has flat out failed, okay? I will never, ever, ever bow to that type of pressure, veiled threats, vicious comments, lies about me or anything else. Then everyone in the crowded courtroom anxiously awaits Judge Dinkelacker's decision. Number one, you pay the cost of these proceedings. Number two, you are to do not violate any laws. And number three, you are to do six months in the Hamilton County Justice Center, credit one day. Mr. and Ms. Deputy can take her away. Hunter's supporters are outraged. In fact, keep your eyes on this woman as she attempts to approach Hunter but is intercepted by court officers. Then watch closely as this deputy attempts to take Hunter away. Initially, she seems to resist. But then, perhaps realizing that her time has run out, her body goes totally limp. While shouts of no justice are heard from the gallery, she's literally dragged out of the courtroom. As tempers flare in the courtroom, Hunter's put in a wheelchair and processed, while her supporters exit the building and rally outside. Hunter eventually begins serving the six months at the Hamilton County Justice Center, but she's released early, serving just under three months based on her participation in a court-authorized work detail. Thanks for being a fan of CourtCam. Subscribe to A&E to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.